did you find? What did you find at the other Goodwill store? I found a 1959 Bakelite wow. barware set that had never been used. I'll show you. Has somebody already bought this? Yeah. Oh, is you? How much? How much are they selling it for? Fourteen dollars. Oh, oh my goodness. Good for you. So roughly, I believe it's probably at auction, probably about ten thousand dollars. This uh, blue dog, uh, blue dog series graphic. <laughs> Signed by George Rodriguez, numbered and dated, which is very unique. You know, people might know what this is, but I'm not going to say yet. Uh, I'll do a little review on how I found this. Table, 60s globe lamp, all that great stuff. So we'll be going over all that stuff and I'll tell you how to find and how to shop so you can find awesome antiques too. So, what's up? okay, lesson number one when you go thrift shopping, park farther in the back. Why? Because if you park in between the cars, people get excited. They start putting their, their stuff in the car and they inevitably will hit your car with their door. Places like this, like Savers, right? That's, it's really popular with, with moms and dads. They so get to save a few things. Or uh, for the family, they're gonna spend a huge amount of money. You need some, just some play clothes for the kids, right? And, you know, and shoes. But anyway. And across these Italian shoes. I didn't even know they're Italian, right? So, and I haven't heard of them. It's a, it's a called a Consumer Nation homie. But you know, you can see the brass at the top of the toe. Doesn't have a lot of wear. Nice heel. You see the Italian made emblem. Some kind of woven leather. Now, I often fix these shoes up really nice, the Italian leather ones. It doesn't take too much work. You know, most of these shoes, like the really expensive six, $700 Italian shoes, they end up in here because people don't know how to, how to take care of them, right? So you just, you know, if you know how to do it, you can bring them right back, right back to uh, a beautiful wearing state, right? Mexico at last. No chips or anything. It's really a nice piece. A lot of the stores have already started putting out their uh, Christmas Christmas decoration items for sale, right? So I did uh, I did a little research on it, so I found out it was it's not as much as I would expect it to be. I would hope it would be about a hundred dollars.
So what did we find for the first stop? Well, we found some Italian stuff. A Mirando, I think it was crystal, amethyst or whatever, the, uh, the ashtray that was vintage. That was very cool, it was a vintage piece. But really my objective is find something at least over $100, right? 100 bucks, put it on eBay, sell it quick, or keep the stuff for my own personal collection. That's, that's kind of what we're trying to do. Some vintage chairs. Actually, I think these are exactly from the 60s. I don't know, man. What do they want? No, $50, $60? $60 from the 60s. Yeah, these two orange ones. They're in rough shape. This is one of the few places I know that has a huge amount of vinyl. Right? Look at all that vinyl. You go through it big collection of DVDs. I know the thing right now is finding a Blu-ray, like stuff they don't print anymore. PBS, I wonder, I bet they don't print this anymore, PBS. Because the truth is that the, the printing will stop eventually when at one point they'll just, they'll try to make you rent everything online. chairs are like 1964, 1965. Has somebody already bought this? Yeah. Oh, is you? How, how much are they selling it for? $14. $14. Oh, my goodness. Good for you. See, look at the boat. Look at that. Yeah, so it's a neighborhood in the 50s. Everybody's moving in. It's the celebration of, I guess, track homes, right? So, yeah, so this is custom framed. So somebody must already had, like, it's like a 12 by 11, right? Vintage lamp from the 80s. What was it again? Uh, oh, well, Robert Sonneman. Uh, a friend of mine, Rajan, told me about Robert Sonneman. And as soon as he's telling me about it, we're like, oh, there's one. Thrift in for couches, you would find this. It is no doubt in my mind, this is a brand new $1,200 couch. So what do they want? They want 300, 400 bucks. For Larry Cannonelli, who is this Larry? That would have exclusive tailoring too, Mr. Larry. Ridiculously hot and it's a uh, 110 and there's and I'm pulling out of a parking lot and there's people behind me. Swiss musical movement. Okay, so it's a music box disguised as a, it's got a chip out of it. Okay, let's see what's on there. Okay, so in really good condition, someone sold one of these for about 150 bucks around there uh, in uh, on Etsy. And so this is 1960s. Now, because it's got a dent there, it's got a dent in the front. It probably is obviously it's not going to be 150. Yeah, I don't know, maybe 50 or more. But you know what? I'm going to leave that for someone else to discover. A treasure. It's a beautiful little piece of music, too. Okay, everybody, I found the best deal of the day. 20 bucks. We'll get you five gallons. Five gallons of air. Uh, I found this, I don't know, about a year and a half ago. 
Uh, and so what you're looking at is a seriograph by George Rodrig. Um, and this is two out of seven, and there is George Rodrigue's signature and who he signed it to, and there's the date. And technically what we're looking at is we're looking at the blue dog with this blue whale. Uh, so he made a painting uh, for, uh, it was a whaling museum back in the late 90s, and so when they hired him to make the painting, so he puts his blue dog in there. Now, if you don't know who the blue dog is, the blue dog, it's this dog that gives you this look, almost like it's asking for a treat or it wants something from you. And, and what you're doing is you're interpreting what the dog is asking you, right? The blue dog. In fact, George Rodriguez once said that blue dog has much to teach us. And so what we're seeing here is the blue dog is at the bottom of the sea and here's the blue whale for the whaling museum. And he used to do this, like uh, blue dog in space, blue, jo blue dog in the desert, blue dog in the, uh, in the jungle. Anyway, so the museum sticker is still on the back. And so I use uh, heritage auctions as a good way of, of understanding how much, how, what the value is of any, any of my antique finds are. So roughly, I believe it's probably at auction, probably about $10,000. This uh, blue dog, uh, blue dog seriograph signed by George Rodriguez, numbered and dated, which is very unique. You know, a lot of the signatures of George Rodriguez of his art doesn't even have a two to it. Um, it would have a, um, it would just have his signature and maybe the number. So very unique piece. So yeah, so I believe it's probably around $10,000. Uh, and anyway, so going over all that stuff and I'll tell you how to find and how to shop so you can find awesome antiques too. So, okay, talk to you guys.